Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I decided that I want to rebuild my silverware divider here because I'm wasting a lot of space in my drawer. It really just doesn't even fit right. Um, plus, I'm sharing a lot of dividers with multiple things. So, anyways, I decided I was going to turn this into something better. Um, follow along. I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I kind of made this small cut list for what you'll need to make this project. Um, my box was 18 and 7 eighths by 9 and 3 quarters. That's the inside dimensions. Um, so I'm using a 2 and a half inch thick material. Um, I use 6 pieces at 6 and a half inches, 6 pieces at an inch and a half, 2 pieces at 18 and 7 eighths, 2 two inch spacers, two pieces at four inches, and two pieces at three inches. Okay, I've got all my pieces cut. The ones that I need to put together are assembled together, and I just thought I'd give you a quick rundown. I'm using this craft pine wood for this project. Um, these are three foot long, two and a half inches wide, and about a third of an inch thick. A little, little over a quarter inch on the thickness there. Um, <clears throat> they're about two bucks, two dollars at Lowe's, which, I don't know, that's a pretty good deal, I think. I wound up using three of them. So really, in total for this project right here, I'm only into it about six bucks. I mean, I have the nails that I used, but so far, six dollars, which is pretty good. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, I've got six of these assembled. These are six and a half inches tall and an inch and a half in this direction. I've built six of them because what I've got is a spacer that will get set in right there. First, second, third, kind of just gap these out evenly, like so, and then that piece there. Now I've got <clears throat> the measurement on my drawer here was 18 and 7 eighths, so I cut this right at 18 and 7 eighths, hoping I could get a tight fit. And then I'm basically just repeating the same process on the other side. Um, try to do this one-handed. Um, I've made sure to dry fit everything, just so that I know it's going to fit all of my utensils. But then, at that point, I've got these two pieces here that are cut right at the width <coughs> left over. I'm installing one there for a little divider. And then this one here actually is planned to go on the same angle as, as these two, because this will hold my steak knives. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. All I got left to do now is nail everything together and put it in. Oh, there's also these two other pieces here. Uh, my plan is to just kind of create a little top here. Just, let's put it probably unnecessary, but huh, got one for here too. Couldn't hurt. Well. There it is. Pretty simple. Okay. Well, here it is. All put together, loaded up, and back in the drawer. I think it turned out pretty good. I didn't really have any complaints. Everything's divided out nicely. I guess the one thing I could have done a little differently was make this one just a half inch longer just so the ends of the spoons fit all the way in but still I'm happy with it um, 
yeah, if you have any comments or questions or maybe thoughts, something I could improve upon, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, I hope this video helped you. And yeah, thanks for watching.